In our previous lesson, we explained the lateral rotator group of muscles, and then we explained the adductors of the thigh. And now we finally come to the posterior compartment of the thigh. We're going to explain also the muscles of the gluteal region, but before we explain that, we want to go muscle by muscle and explain the posterior compartment, and then the innervation and the blood supply as well. Now, I don't want to be like all the other people here and explain the muscles and then let you wonder where are all the arteries and the nerves. So let's explain the arteries first. In order to explain the arteries, there are two arteries that I want to show you. We have to remove the semimembranosus and also the adductor brevis. Right under the piriformis muscle, there is the inferior gluteal artery, sending its branches to our region to supply our muscles. But besides that, there is the femoral artery sending off its branch, the deep femoral artery, that runs between the pectineus muscle and the adductor longus. And after that, it continues going downwards behind the adductor longus and now the biceps femoris. Remember, that's not this biceps. It's the biceps on your femur bone. And this, what you can see here, is the short head, which has its origin on the lateral lip of the linea aspera, basically laterally from the adductor magnus that we explained in our previous lesson. And that was the short head. The long head has its origin on the ischial tuberosity, and both of the heads insert on the fibular head, which articulates with the posterior side of the lateral condyle of the tibia. The actions of this muscle in the knee joint are the flexion and the lateral rotation. And because of its long head, it also performs the extension in the hip joint. If you go back a little bit and remember when I was explaining the gracilis muscle, and how there is the insertion in the pes and serinus, which is basically right superficially the insertion of the medial collateral ligament. Well, now there is also one more muscle that creates the pes and serinus, and that is the semitendinosus muscle medially to the biceps femoris. Do you remember when I mentioned the inferior gluteal artery coming under the piriformis muscle? Well, there is also one more structure coming under the piriformis muscle, and that is from the lumbar and the sacral plexus L4 to S3, the very thick sciatic nerve. And it runs down there and it gets split into the tibial and the common perineal nerve. The common perineal nerve branches supply the short head of the biceps femoris and the tibial nerve branches supply all the other muscles that I have explained. Of course the nerve runs under the long head of the biceps femoris because it would be really stupid to let the nerve run superficially. You could damage it so easily. So you want to learn about the muscles of the gluteal region as well. You can go to my website and check out all of my lessons and my anatomical software, animatedanatomy.com. If you don't want to purchase it, then you can subscribe here for new free content and videos that I release regularly on my channel. Thank you.